So, to provide you with the latest information on this incident, I want to introduce on my left Sheriff Jeff Dean. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Sheriff of Ventura County. The name is spelled G E O F F. Last name is spelled D E A N. On my right is Ryan Young. He's a special agent in charge of the Los Angeles Field Office of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. His name is spelled R Y A N. Last name is Y O U N G. Also on my right is L D Maples. He's the chief of the Coastal Division of the California Highway Patrol. First name is spelled L D. Last name Maples, M A P L E S. So right now I'm going to hand it over to Sheriff Dean to give you the latest. Good morning. You're all experienced reporters and you understand this is dynamic ongoing investigation and a tragic tragic situation so uh, I'll go through the details I'll share with you everything I have and we'll answer all the questions you may have our partners from the FBI and the Highway Patrol will also answer any additional questions you might have tonight at 11:20 p.m. Sheriff Simon one received multiple calls of shots being fired at the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks. Our first sheriff's unit arrived on scene three minutes later. There was also two higher patrol officers on scene who had been on a local traffic stop and heard the traffic and responded right away. Approximately three minutes later, a higher patrol officer and a sheriff sergeant made entry into the borderline because they heard shots being fired and felt there might be additional victims inside. Upon going through the front door, the sheriff sergeant was struck multiple times with gunfire. The high patrol officer stepped back and secured the perimeter until additional units arrived and he rescued the sheriff sergeant out of the line of gunfire. When additional units arrived, including SWAT personnel, agencies from the Oxnard Police Department, the Simi Valley Police Department, the Ventura Police Department, and additional officers from the Highway Patrol, they made entry into the borderline bar and grill. They found 11 victims that had been killed. The suspect, who we believe is, was the only suspect, was dead inside. And there were multiple other victims of different levels of injury inside that were rescued from the scene and taken to local hospitals. In addition to the victims inside, and the numbers are upwards of 10 to 12, additional victims with minor injuries fled the scene on their own and took themselves to local hospitals. We have not identified the suspect yet. Our partners from the FBI were on scene almost immediately uh, to help us with identification process and with crime scene processing. We have no idea if there is a terrorism link to this event or not. As you know, these are ongoing investigations and that information will come out as soon as we're able to determine exactly who the suspect was and what motive he might have had for this horrific event. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, well, the uh, Sergeant Hillis died at the... Uh, The sergeant passed away at the hospital uh, about an hour ago. I only mentioned it might be terrorists because that's where we all go these days when we have multiple shootings like this. There's no reason for it and we have this horrific death. I have nothing to lead me to believe or the FBI that there is any terrorism link here, but we certainly will look at that option. I'm sorry? The, what do you mean by devices? There's some initial reports that a smoke bomb might have been used. We have not 
found anything yet. We actually have, we have called in our bomb team to go in through and we have a couple bomb dogs here that are checking the area, but we haven't found any other explosive device or confirmation that there was a smoke device. Well, hindsight and speculation is pretty easy. You would think if someone throws a smoke device that it was certainly more of a, a planned attack and not something spontaneous. Sergeant Hillis was on the force for 29 years, was looking to retire in the next year or so. Uh, he was a Moore Park resident and is survived by his wife and his son. Ron Hillis, H-E-L-U-S. Well, it, you know, the question is Thousand Oaks the safe community, what do I make of this? I make it that it's a horrific incident it's part of the horrors that are happening in, in our country and everywhere. And I think it's impossible to put any logic or any sense to the senseless. How did the suspect die? Well, when the officers made entry, the, the suspect was already deceased. There were 11 victims. I will not count the suspect as a victim, the suspect, and then Sergeant Helis. So 11 victims. 11 victims, the suspect, 